Does Tom Poston think Zephyr is one of the Marx Brothers? If Elena Reed wanted to trim her frangle, would she call a gardener? And Jimmy Alec Cooks, is it fortuitous or for the three of us? We'll find out the answer to these questions and a lot more as we play television's funniest new game show, Wordplay! And here's the star of Wordplay, that man of many words, Tom Kennedy! Hello there. Thank you very much. Hello. Good to see you. Well, uh, thank you. It must be the tie. It must be the tie. Thank you very much. I think they're standing for Bob. And the, <laughs> I'm not Wink Martindale. I am Tom Kennedy. They, they, uh, we're having great fun. Let's get over and say hello to our panel because we've had such great fun with them all week. And I'm talking about Jimmy Alex, <laughs> Elena Reed, Tom Poole. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Tom, of course, is on uh, New Heart, and Elena Reed is on 227. And Jimmy, I don't know what he's on, but uh, he's on some, but he's here. <laughs> <laughs> but he's on this show, and that's all that really counts. Let's go over and meet our our uh, players over here. Bob Clatterbuck is our current. Did I get that right? You got it. Okay. That's Has won five thousand eight hundred dollars oh, playing the game, you. and he's having a good time. And now, I told you before, we spare no expense to bring the biggest stars to our show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Shirley Jones. <laughs> Shirley Jones. Tell us about yourself, Shirley. We know about your musical background, right. but tell us about the rest of it. Um, I'm married um, to a wonderful man named Ray Jones. We live in Pasadena. I have a six-month-old son, and I'm expecting our second child in October. October? Congratulations in advance, and welcome to our show. Are you feeling all right? Fine. Good. All right. You keep a lot of water handy. <laughs> all right, Bob, welcome, and good luck to you. We'll play our game with nine words, all to be found in the dictionary, and today's words are fortuitous, dap, zephyr, paucity, tweeny, ophiolatry, <laughs> mastaba, brango, and surcete. He did it. We'll be finding out the definitions in six of those words, and whoever's ahead at the end of that will have a shot at our double definition rounds with today is worth $5,000. And one of those words is a bonus word. And with that bonus word, one of our contestants can win a trip to St. Thomas. I didn't know he was still alive. Let's show our whole audience today's bonus word. We have already shown our home audience, and so now, Bob, you're our champ. Which word would you like first? Well, I think fortuitous would be a good one. All right. If that's what you think, that's good enough with us. Blue Eyes, tell me about fortuitous. I, is he talking to you? Yeah. No. Is, uh, fortuitous means uh, fortunate, uh, having good fortune. For instance, it's fortuitous to find a rabbit's foot. It's not fortuitous to find a three-legged rabbit with a shotgun. <laughs> fortunate. Uh, all right, Helena. <laughs> fortuitous means of humble birth, and my grandfather was very fortuitous. Did I say that right? Doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Uh, but he swore that one day his name was going to be on the cover of every magazine and newspaper in the country, and you know, it happened. You, you, yeah. you tell me how. He took out a lot of subscriptions. Jet, Ebony, <laughs> Look, Live, Reader's Digest, of humble. Of humble birth. <laughs> His name yeah. and address appeared on the front of every magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy? Four tuitus. You understand? Four tuitus divided by four. What? Divided by four. Like there's this millionaire divided his entire estate into fours. His mansion went to his uh, cap. I think, and his uh, yacht went to his goldfish, and his uh, stocks and bonds went to his parakeet, and then, after all that, his wife went to the dogs. <laughs> 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 oh, give me a break. Right about four. All right. Uh, for two of us, does it mean fortunate? Does it mean of humble birth? Or does it mean divided by four? I'm going to go with Tom. 
blue eyes. All right. Want to pick out furniture? Or <laughs> yeah. <you're laughs> <laughs> Mr. Poston give us the right answer. Is it Portugal? Yeah. yeah. Seventy-five dollars. That goes in your favor. All right, Shirley. I'm going to try Sir Cease. Sir Cease. All righty. And for that, we go over to uh, Elena. Sir Cease means to come to an end. I saw a man the other day predicting the world was about to come to a Sir Cease. Hit me his eyes were wild, and he was running around in robes. And I said, "Honey, honey, I'm sorry about the pizza bill." <laughs> the pizza bill. Come to an end. I really had to work on that one. But... Now that is acting. That is that's acting. acting ability. That's man. acting. Did you do that one more time? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy, tell Sur us about it. Surcease. Uh huh. It's uh, it, it's a believe in superstitions. Is what it means. Believe in super, which is superstitions are stupid, silly. I mean, like this morning I broke a mirror in my dressing room and nothing's happened to me yet. <laughs> Meaningful action. I go get to act. I have to say what it really means. It means uh, cheating in competition. So there's a lot of surceasing in beauty pageants. Really? For instance, if they eliminated all of the plastic surgery in most beauty pageants, the swimsuit competition would be even flatter than the singing. Oh. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Surely, Sir It does. Go ahead. Just a second. It means uh, cheat in competition, or it could mean come to an end, or it could mean believe in superstitions. I'm not extremely sure, You're but extremely sure. I'm going to go with Elena. Come you to are. an end. Come to an end. Is that the right definition for Sir Steve? Extremely right. And you get twenty-five dollars. And so our chance has 75, and Shirley has 25, and we're going to come back and try to give away that trip to St. Thomas right after that. Fiber Trim, the European way to help you stay slim. Women have no time for irregularity, yet women are constipated three times more often than men. That's why there's Correct All Laxative. Its gentle overnight action helps you feel like yourself again. Correct All, the gentle laxative so many women prefer. When night leg cramps strike, get help from Dr. Scholl's with Legatrin. Unlike Tylenol, aspirin, or even ibuprofen, Legatrin relaxes knotted muscles to relieve painful cramps. Legatrin says goodnight to night leg cramps. Come on aboard, having fun. This is round two. We've raised the dollar amount behind the words. The trip to St. Thomas is still up there somewhere. We're back now to Bob Clatterbuck for our, the next pick of the word. We're going to go with Zephyr, Tom. Yes, sir. Zephyr. You have it. Uh, Jimmy, tell me about Zephyr. Zephyr. Yes. Zephyr is, a, is an underachiever. Yeah, it's like my sister was kind of a Zephyr. <laughs> now, my dad told her that if she completed her education, she could write her own ticket. And she did. She's now a meter maid. <laughs> so she's uh, underachiever. Okay. Underachiever. Thomas. A zephyr is not that. A zephyr is any gentle wind. I remember feeling, feeling uh, what I thought might have been a zephyr last week. And I remembered Congress is back in session. <laughs> any gentle wind. Uh, uh, Elena. Uh, 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 well, a zephyr is an exploding star. Now, when a zephyr explodes, it breaks them into millions and billions of tiny pieces. I know because they used the same movie company I did when I came to California, so... Uh, yeah. Exploding stars. Exploding stars. Gotcha. You want to be by myself? I didn't want to be by myself. Ooh. All right, Bob. 
uh, zephyr. Any gentle wind, exploding star, or underachiever. I think Tom's got it. You think so? I think he's got a gentle wind. <laughs> All right. Is that right? Any gentle wind. Oh, you got it. That's the gentle wind, all right. Yes, indeed. Behind Zephyr, $100. Add that to your score for a total of $175. Shirley, a gentle wind. Yes. Great title for a song. Jer uh, Shirley, which word next? Paucity. Paucity. Okay. Once again, unconnected with any of the dollar amounts. And for that, Mr. Poston, we're going to ask you for the definition, paucity. Uh, paucity is an increase in size. Uh, I can give you an example of paucity. Uh, two bottles of champagne is a magnum. Uh, four bottles of champagne is a Jeroboam. Eight bottles of champagne is Ed McMahon's breakfast. I agree. <laughs> increase in size. <laughs> <laughs> well, paucity means bad fortune. And this has been such a fabulous year. I said, my ship is going to come in this year, but knowing my bad fortune, I'll be at the airport. <laughs> Where's that drummer, Tom? Where's that yes, drummer? Where is that drummer? We need that drummer. <laughs> bad really fortune. Good. <laughs> nay, 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 nay. nay. Uh, paucity is a small number. Like, you find out how many friends you have when you have to move. <laughs> it's a paucity of them. Come over. <laughs> Very small number. All number. Move, you know, your house. Move, move, yeah. Shirley, one of those, believe it or not, is the, right, is the definition, the correct definition of that word, paucity. Is it increase in size? Is it bad fortune? Or is it small number? What is your answer? I hope it's small number. You do. All right. Did Jimmy give us the right definition? Yes, he did. You got it, sir. My company is fifty dollars, and we have that new score for a grand total of seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five for Shirley. One seventy-five for Bob. Game is never with yet. We have another round coming up, where we'll once again increase the dollar amount after this. Well, you were right. There's more vitamin C than most other chilled orange juices. Minute Maid. Minute Maid. We are the sunshine of your life. I've got a really good story for you. And it's all about me. Who looks exactly the way that I look. Me. And I am reading who's holding the book. Me. In all kinds of weather, me, me, wonderful me. Sesame Street's Big Bird Story Magic from Ideal with Storybook and Cassette. The way your kids react to him speaks for itself. Fisher Price just reinvented the wheel. Roller skates that grow with your kids as they learn to skate. This little switch lets you set them for beginners, like Sherry, so the wheels only go forward for a steadier ride. Michaels are set for the little experts. And hooray, no buckles or laces. He's skating! Look, he's skating! The Fisher Price roller skates. It's about time. Chocolate lovers, watch out for new Chuckle Bliss. Oh, what a sweet sensation. Oh, what's this what you do to me, do to me? New Chuckle Bliss, a chocolatey creation. Three layers make it so chocolatey. Moisture chocolatey cake. Bliss from Hostess. Watch out. Working, coming down 
on the final stretch is our last round. We have our final two words, our five words up there. One of them still represents or can represent a trip to St. Thomas. And we're back to Bob for the next pick of the word. Which shot, what shall it be, Bob? Uh, boy, I think I'll take Ophiolatry and hope we can figure that one out. All right, Ophiolatry, and that is unconnected, I happen to notice. It's over Ophiolatry. We go over to Elena. Ophiolatry is the worship of snakes. Now, you laugh, but, you know, everyone in California, they're always worshiping something. They have gurus and all that kind of stuff. Well, I, I became a boa worshiper. But I had to give it up because it's too just, uh, constricting. Oh. Trust me on this, please. Ophiola tree. Jimmy. And Ophiola tree. Uh, it's uh, the study of slang. And I'll tell you something, an ophiologist or ophiologist, whoever he'd say, the guy who would do it, he would have a field day here in L.A. because of the surfers and the valley girls, you know, with all the gnarly dudes and everything, you know. It's like he, yeah. the study of slang, man, you know. It's put in there and it fits, so there you go. All right, study of slang. Ophiola tree, Tommy. Ophiola tree is the study of poetry. I was an Ophiola tree major in college. I studied uh, Shelley, Keats, and Dolly Parton. Uh, she never wrote sonnets, but I loved her couplets. Uh, oh. Study of poetry. Oh, right. Opiola tree, Bob. Opiola tree, it uh, could mean study of poetry. Opiola tree could mean worship of snakes. Or opiola tree could mean study of slang. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, I think Elena has tipped the scales in her favor with worship of snakes. Oh. I want to say it. <laughs> uh -huh. Is opiola tree, does that mean worship of snakes? Right. And it's worth $200. Oh, yeah. We have that to your score for a total of $375. Shirley, this is the very last word. Bob has 375, you have 75. What's your pick? I'm going with DAP. With DAP. Now, DAP is connected to $3 amounts up there. If you get that right, you will not only win the money behind DAP, but those $3 amounts as well. Incidentally, the bonus board bonus word today was Mastaba. All right. DAP is the word, however, before the jury. And so, for Jimmy, tell her about DAP. DAP. Please. Dap is, uh, means uh, dip, uh, what does it mean? Dip suddenly into the water. Like uh, birds do that when they eat. You ever notice birds, they kind of swoop down and pick up insects and fish? You were doing it's, that at lunch. Oh, yeah, okay, well, stop dapping. It's dapping. Oh, okay. It's like a fast food drive through You ever know they, you know the birds, when they come down, they always like, they'll go to the next bird and they'll say, uh, you want flies with that? They kind of come down. Right, uh, one fly. Dip suddenly in the water. Okay. It dips suddenly. Uh-huh. Gotcha. And right. when you say it, you got to go like this. I see. It's a visual <laughs> kind yeah, of Yeah, it's a thing. visual too. Okay, Tom. Uh, Daff is uh, not... Uh, that's a music teacher. I had the meanest <laughs> music teacher that ever lived. I was studying the saxophone. I asked this Daff what he thought of my execution. He said he was in favor of it. <laughs> Sooner the better. Yeah, music. <laughs> Elena, dap. Dap means to breathe. <sighs> to breathe. Uh, we know what to breathe is. Oh, okay. Right, this sorry. you needed to do. I needed oh. to do this. Dap. But you don't have to, you know, we know. Okay, okay, okay. I had a cousin who went to Switzerland because he had a respiratory problem. The cops were breathing down his neck. Oh, <laughs> Oh, All right, Shirley, you are behind, but there's enough money in those connections to make you our winner. So the word is dap. Does it mean music teacher? Does it mean breathe? Or does it mean dip suddenly in the water? Oh, God. Um, really? I have to do You this. mean dap means dip suddenly I'm in the water? I'm trying dip suddenly in is the water. Right in, is she right and is he right and...
One, look at that, $100 next to the 375. We had 475 to your score for a total of $550. You're our new champ. Beautiful. Sure well you <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Bob Clatterbuck. $5,800 you won yesterday. Uh, feels good. And I did you have a good time? That's a, Didn't I? <laughs> oh, I tell you. <laughs> I we did. enjoyed having you on the show. Thank Great sense of humor and uh, congratulations to you. Thank you, you Mr. Shirley Jones, come on over here. Shirley Jones. Yes, indeed. Well, you've done it. You know, that's a hefty amount, too, yeah. $550. Right. Now, do you have any idea how much money's up there in that double definition round? I know. It's $5,000, yeah. is not it? Can you use $5,000? We'll see if she's going to win it right after this. Get on over there. Good luck. New Tic Tac Toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thanks for this for Chef Boyardee. Tic, 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yes! We are the sunshine of your life, Minute May. That's why we'll always be around. We are the taste that starts your day. If you thought there was more to Minute Maid than great taste, well, you were right. There's more vitamin C than most other chilled orange juices. Minute Maid, Minute Maid, we are the sunshine of your life. Buttermilk, sauerkraut, liver, cheese. Can't somebody do something about dishwasher odor? It's Arm & Hammer baking soda to the rescue. Just sprinkle about a quarter cup in your dishwasher to help keep it smelling fresh between loads. Absorbs odors for days, the same way an open box absorbs odors in your fridge and freezer. Hey, it worked. Now can we have some real food? Arm & Hammer baking soda freshens the fridge, freezer, and now the dishwasher, too. If you live or plan to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to be a contestant on Wordplay, call 818-569-3664. Once again, Tom Kennedy. Hi, Charlie O'Donnell. Thank you. Shirley Jones. is our new champ, and she is a native Angelino. Yeah. That's good. And this child that's coming up, is it number two? Or number it is three? number two. Number two? Yeah. Very good. And then let's build up a little money here and use that, huh? Okay. This is worth $5,000 in our double definition round. What you have to do is get from the left side to the right side in uh, 45 seconds or less. Every time you call for one of those boxes, you'll see two definitions that will have a single word as the answer. And if you get that word right, you will hear this bell. And that means you're correct, and you can go on to pick the next box. If, however, you get stuck, you must say the word pass. That box will then turn into a block. Then you have to go up or down to get around that block and across the board. So let's put... 45 seconds on that clock. We wish you good luck, and we'll start that clock with your first pick. Number seven. Okay. Lock opener, very important. Tea. Go. Number eight. Fish lure to tease. Bait. You got it. Number nine. Set plane down, earth surface. Land. You got Number it. Number ten. School playtime, indentation in wall. Recess. Yeah. Number eleven. TV show, instruct computer. Okay. Sixteen. All right, John. A vacation by ship, look for girls. Cruise. Uh -huh. Seventeen. Empty space, rug cleaner. Vacuum. Yeah. Eighteen. Fabricate signatures progress slowly. Oh, fabricate signatures progress slowly. Uh. Oh, oh, and your time is up. We're going to come back and tell you what that thing is right there, and we'll also explain number 11, the one block that you have right after this. Jennifer, would you like some milk? Okay. And Hershey syrup? Jim, want some milk? Yeah, Mom. And Hershey syrup? As good as milk is, the rich chocolatey taste of Hershey syrup makes it even better. Just ask your kids. Michael, how about some milk? And Hershey syrup? Ooh. 
Hershey's syrup makes good things even better. This asthma attack didn't have to be this bad. At the first sign of an attack, take Primatine tablets. Primatine opens clogged breathing tubes during occasional attacks. Helps restore free breathing for hours. Primatine tablets contain the asthma reliever doctors recommend most. Shirley is still working on uh, number 18, and I think she has it now. Let's see. It fabricates signatures and progress slowly. What do you think? You almost said it a minute ago. For, Say it. Forgery or... For well, to progress slowly. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> Say it, go. Forge. That's it. Oh. Forge. You found you to forge a signature. And you do the coach. Yes, all right. Let's go over and see what number 11 was. A TV show and instruct computer. Have you got that yet? Uh-oh. I bet the audience does. You know what it is, audience? What is it? Program. Program. Oh. You program the computer, and that's a TV show. Like, you know, for instance, Word Play. Have you ever heard of that show? <laughs> Favorite show. You gave it a good shot, though. That's what happens all the time. I try these, and I do the same thing you do. I say, well, I don't know what it is. We're going to come back tomorrow, though, and we're going to have $7,500 up on that board. And you're going to have a shot if you win again tomorrow. You going to come back? I'll be back. All right. You got $550, and in this round, you got $600, so you have $1,150. She's going to come back tomorrow, and we are going to count on you doing the same thing. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Today's runner-up on Wordplay will receive symphonic VHS HQ video cassette recorders at wireless remote, 14-day four-event program timer, eight hours recording, digital clock, electronic tape counter furnished by symphonic, and introducing new Pine Sol spray cleaner. It sprays away greasy dirt, germs, and sprays away odors. It's the only pump that's Pine Sol. The Pittsburgh Home Show opens at the convention center, and Asa Aarons answers viewer problems, all tonight on Channel 11 News at 6.